Don't get me wrong. I don't got anything against sunglasses. I'm just using them as a metaphor for aloofness. I can see you, but you cannot see my eyes. And the eyes are the window to the soul. And why do I not want you to look into my soul? Because I'm afraid that what you will see there will be used against me. Anything that I say or do or think or feel may be used against me. That is the thinking of one who is aloof. And somebody who is aloof, especially in our Western culture, might be mistaken for someone who is cool. We have this image of what is cool, and <laughs> the media perpetuates it, and the aloof person gets energy from it, and people don't know that they're hurt, wounded, uh, protecting themselves in some way. And so it can go on and on and on and on. A aloof person can be well-liked, popular, uh, fun to be around even. But the thing is, if you want to heal, you got to be vulnerable. Not with just anybody, but with someone that you trust. Maybe more than one person, if you can find more than one person that you feel is trustworthy. And there might even be people that are trustworthy in your life that don't seem trustworthy because you're hurt and very self-protective and cautious. And a certain degree of cautiousness is a good idea. But too much can turn you inwards to the point where even if you're interacting with people and you're talking about things that are safe and, you know, everything seems cool, you may feel cold inside. So the way to deal with that, I believe, is to, you know, realize it's not that bright out and that you can take in the sun, you can take in the love, you can take in the understanding and take the risk of being known and being vulnerable.